Okay, so you want to make the perfect grilled cheese sandwich. Well, let's think about that for a minute. To do that, you're probably going to need to make your bread from scratch. Bonus points if it's artisanal. Okay, okay. The butter that you want to use is probably going to be some good Irish butter because they're not afraid of fat across the pond. And their cows are only grass-fed, or so I'm told. And then you need to go to that scary gourmet cheese counter. You know which one I'm talking about in the center of the grocery store and the cheesemonger's over there and her highfalutin high top hat. And you're scared to go over there because you don't know the difference between a Gruyere and a Camembert and she's boring judgmental glances into your soul. I mean, why even try? Loser. Well, the good news is you don't need all that fancy stuff to make a great grilled cheese sandwich. All you need is bread, butter, cheese, a pan, a spatula, and the willingness to try something new. Let's get cooking today. Before we get started, I want you to say hello to my little friends. I cannot emphasize this enough. The two most important tools in your kitchen are these guys. Don't believe me? Well, be prepared to be amazed. First, we're going to take our frying pan and place it on the stovetop. Turn your heat to medium low because we want the pan to be ready when we are. One of the most important skills you can learn in the kitchen is multitasking. <coughs> now I know what you're thinking. If the word multitasking sounds scary, don't be afraid. Be confident. You are the boss of this kitchen, so act like it and heat that pan. Now let's talk about your bread. Any bread will do. If you want to be bougie and buy some artisanal bread, then by all means let your freak flag fly. Today, I'm using store-bought wheat bread because seeing 100% wheat on the bag makes me feel like I'm making healthy choices for my family. Now, you're going to take room temperature butter and you're going to slather it all over one side of each bread slice. This is a step we don't skimp. It's time to dig down deep and be our most generous selves to cover that bread all over with that luscious fatty goodness. Great job, girls. Now it's time for the star of the show, cheese. Might I suggest saving a few pennies and buying that block of cheese in the dairy section. And instead of slicing, we are going to shred so hard. When we shred the cheese, we make the surface area of the cheese smaller. The smaller the cheese, the quicker it melts. Get it? Great! Time to grill. Place one piece of bread butter side down in the pan. Top it off with an even spread of shredded cheese. And now, we wait. Once most of the cheese shreds start to melt, it's time to top it, stick it, and flip it. And wait some more. When it seems like the cheese is mostly melted, we want to make sure each side of the cheese gets a toasty golden brown. We achieve that by turning the heat up to medium and flipping each side till it gets to the level of golden brown you desire. For me, it's this. Great job, girls. Congratulations, you did it. You made a grilled cheese sandwich. Now it's time to choose your own adventure. You can dive in immediately like the savage you are and devour it in one bite. Or you can crisscross cut the bread into triangles like the rest of us and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Very nice, guys. I'm impressed. Bravo. Thanks for cooking with me today. Is there anything that you want to learn how to cook in the kitchen? Leave that in the comments below. I'd love to see them and try some new things out with you. My name's Jamie Jean, and every day is a good day to live fearless inside and outside the kitchen. Cheers.